Hey everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. There are a lot of new releases coming out for the spring and summer of 2024. And I thought that we can look through some of them together and let you know if I'll be getting it, not be getting it, or I'm still kind of thinking about it. I'll link all the Instagram accounts down below and I sure hope that you do give them a follow because they are a great source of information of all the new products coming. So let me go ahead and move on over, get my glasses on and let's see what's coming. I should be on this side so you can see our cat Zazzles, but I'm left-handed and I have to be on this side so I can use my left hand. <laughs> when I put this video up, I believe the Sephora sale would already have started for Rouge members. And I'll put the dates down below for you guys, but it starts today, April 5th for Rouge and you get 20%. And if you're VIB, it starts April 9th and you get 15% off. And also on April 9th, Insider, you can shop and you get 10% off. And on the Sephora collection, the Sephora brand, everyone could shop starting today, April 5th, and you get 30% no matter what level you're at. Now I didn't do a, I guess a recommendations video for Sephora. There are so many out there and believe me, they are great. They are recommending the same products that I would have suggested. And plus if you're Rouge, I think that's the only one that's more beneficial. If you're VIB or Insider, 15, 10% off, especially Insider, 10% off, that's really not a lot. That's what, the sales tax? So it's really not much savings. But a lot of these brands, they have their own discounts. Like Pat McGrath has 30% off. Huda Beauty might have 30% off. Rare Beauty, RMS Beauty, all the beauties. <laughs> Certain times of the year, they will have like a deeper discount for everyone. But I'll put a little video of the things that I have in my shopping cart. And then sometime next week, I'll be doing a haul video of the things I got in the Sephora sale and some other things that I got here and there. All right, now let's talk about the most anticipated palette, at least that's what I'm thinking, is by Byredo, and it's the Mineral Scapes Eyeshadow Palette. It's a limited edition 18 colors palette inspired by Byredo's native Sweden and the natural rural landscape that it has. It's cool shades of northern spring colors, serene nudes, glittering stones, rich and velvety deep blues are cut through with silvered shine. Now, now, I did see that some stores are already selling it, especially in the UK, I believe Liberty London. I did see that it was on sale there. I did put it in my cart and it does cost $135 at Liberty London and then I believe it was $20 tax plus $20 shipping and when I saw that I took it out of my cart. I thought $175 for a palette. I think I could wait till it's released here in the States and when it does get released here in the States I believe sometime in May it will be $115. It's still pricey but it's a lot better than $170 getting it from the UK and it was supposed to be released April 4th and I did call the Byredo store here in Dallas and they said that it's been pushed back until May. But on the website, it does say you can enter your email to be notified when it becomes available. And yeah, I hope I can get this one. Love the packaging. It looks like it's going to be a white package. It's not going to be the mirrored package. And actually, the look that I have on now, Floral Kalahari, the palette that came out two years ago. This one has that mirrored packaging where it you know, it can get dirty, it does, it is dirty, but it just lets me know that it's been shown some love. And then here are the shades in this palette. So it's gonna be the same, 18 pans, but it's gonna be more cool tone this time. So I do like the outside packaging with the seashells and the white packaging, I guess, not gonna be mirrored. And yes, it does lean more cool tone. There's several navies, some seafoam greens. I mean, it's really pretty. Maybe there might be some duplicate shades. I'm thinking maybe that seafoam green similar to this one. Let me show you this one. But hopefully when I get the new Mineral Scapes palette, I'll be doing some comparison swatches with it too. And even though it's cool tone, I'm really interested in it. Some cool tone shades may look a little dirty, but I'll still work with it and see what I can do. So this one, yes, this one's gonna be a yes for me. Oh, I forgot to mention there'll be some other products released with this eyeshadow palette by Byredo. And let's see, it looks like we have a liquid lipstick in the shade of Frozen Memo. I don't know if I want a green liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna be passing on that one. And all-in-one refillable brow pencil in five shades. Maybe I might pick one of those. I might pick one of those. So definitely the eyeshadow palette and one of the brow pencils. And definitely no to the liquid lipstick in the shade Frozen Memo. <laughs> Suku is coming out with their summer 2024 collection and they did come out with their pre-summer 2024 collection and I didn't pick up any of those. I have to admit one of the palettes did look kind of nice but I just went ahead and 
passed on the pre-summer collection, but the summer collection is called the Touch of Nectar. I'm kind of interesting in. I like those two eyeshadow palettes. They don't look like summer. They look like fall to me. I'm still liking it. 138. I like the purples in that kind of a peachy pink with that olive green. I think those are those two are matte shades. And 139 looks like a sunset. And I like that shade that's in the bottom bottom right corner. There are also three lip and cheek balms, S01, S02, and S03. And I think I'm just going to pass on those. I'm not really into lip and cheek balms. Two of the treatment wrapping lip gloss, 107 and 108. I may pick up one of those. I kind of like 108. 107 is not bad either. And two new nail polishes, 160 and 169. As you can see, I hardly wear nail polish. And if I do, it's going to be French tip. Been over a year since I've done my nails, kind of giving it a break. Oh, and they were dirty too. Sorry. <laughs> I was kind of giving them a break from using dip. So eventually I'll go back to wearing my French tip nail polish, but these nail polish from Suku, it's going to be a pass. So I wouldn't mind a couple of the lip gloss and both of the eyeshadow palettes from Suku. Now Victoria Beckham is coming out with a new shade in the Satin Kajal liner. Now I don't have any of her liners, but I'm thinking about picking up a few of them. I don't think I'll be picking up the new shade. What is it called? Seafoam? Yeah, Seafoam. I don't think that would work with my skin tone. I think it's going to be too light. But there are other shades that I want to try. Like I want to try the black shade. I think there's a bronze shade, maybe a navy shade. I'm just waiting on a sale for that. Because I remember she did have a sale. I don't know if it was just one time a year or two times a year, but I can wait until there's a sale. But yes, I would like to pick up some of her satin Kajal liners, but not this one in Seafoam. I've heard that it's very nice. It's very creamy. It stays put. You know I love my eyeliner. Now Tom Ford, I'm not a big fan of Tom Ford, but I'll still mention some of the products that he's coming out with. And this is the Summer 2024 collection that's going to be released on April 19th. There's an eye color quad in Emerald Dove. It's very pretty. Four new Ultra Shine lip shades, 31, 32, 33, and 34. And it looks like a highlighter and maybe a lip gloss with gold particles in there. And also from Tom Ford, he's coming out with a new foundation and it's called the Architecture Soft Matte Blurring Foundation. This is a liquid foundation that creates a soft three-dimensional effect on the entire face by blurring rather than covering up skin concerns. It's a lightweight liquid. Now it does say that there's only eight shades in this foundation. I believe it's for the Asian market. So I don't know if there's going to be more shades when it's released here in the States, but anything from Tom Ford, I'm I'm just kind of staying away. Long story short, they kind of did me wrong with customer service. So I'm just saving my money, not buying anything more from Tom Ford. So that'll be a no from me on the foundation and the summer 2024 collection, the eyeshadow and the lipsticks, lip gloss and highlighter. Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with new products in her iconic Pillow Talk collection. There's going to be a new kissing lipstick in the new shade Pillow Talk Fair. I think that one's going to be too light for me, so I will pass on that one. I did pick up the new shades that she came out with, I believe last month, the 90s theme, pinks and the reds, but that I'll wait until my haul video. I haven't even looked at them yet, but I'm going to wait until my haul video to try them. There's also a Pillow Talk Fair in the Lip Cheat. I won't be picking that one up. And let's see, there's a Collagen Lip Bath. It's available in three new shades, Pillow Talk Fair, Medium, and Intense. kind of like the Medium and the Intense. I do like her lip glosses. They are very nice on the lips. And then these are going to be re-releases of the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter. It's a limited edition highlighter and it's in two shades. Romance Light for a nudie pink glow and Dream Light for a warm pink glow. These were released, I believe, last year. I believe, and I did get one, but I gave that one away. So I don't have that one to compare it to, to show it to you here. And it comes in new packaging. Since it wasn't my favorite the first time, I think I'm going to pass on it this time. But it sure does look pretty. And then also the Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasm in two shades. Pillow Talk Fair Medium and Medium Deep. Now I don't know about those. Maybe I might try one just to see. And if I do get one, it will be the Medium Deep. And I believe those are available now as well. We have some bronzers from Armani, the Luminous Silk Sunlit Creamy Bronzing Powders, and they are available now as well. And I believe there are four shades, 90, 100, 110, and 120. And those do look very pretty. And this one, I'm kind of on the fence. I just picked up a couple bronzers from YSL and I'm wearing one of them right now. So do I need more bronzers? 
No, I don't, but do I want them? Maybe. I don't know which shade I would get. One of the two deeper shades, I guess. But I'm still thinking about it. Probably wait for a sale if I do decide to get these bronzers from Armani. RMS Beauty is coming out with new bronzers, the Reed Dimensional Hydra Bronzer. Now, I do love the blushes from RMS Beauty. I did get one of their highlighters. Wasn't my favorite. It was just a little, I don't know, it just showed my texture. It just didn't look smoothing on my face. So I think on this one, I'm going to pass. The shades do look a little bit more warm. Of course, this is just the stock photo, so it's kind of hard to tell from these. So there's shade 01 Beach Walk Betty, 02 Malibu Muse, 03 Tan Lines, and 04 Bikini Beach. Love the names. So I think I'm going to pass on these bronzers from RMS Beauty. The ones from Armani thinking about it, but this one, it'll be a pass. Another thing from Armani are these blushes, the Luminous Silk Cheek Tints. So it's a liquid blush and they do have pretty shades. I don't know, I'm kind of interested in that one too. Maybe one or two shades. And again, I'll probably wait for a sale, but this one says it melts into the skin with its watercolor technology inspired by Armani lipsticks. Has intense color with a light texture, a natural fresh blush that blends into the skin without disturbing your makeup. Okay, it does say coming soon. I don't know when these are going to be coming out. Let me check and see if Sephora has them. It's not showing anything on the Sephora website. Anything from Armani. It's just a blank page. Let me just check another brand. Yeah, it seems like Sephora is having their glitch. It's the first day of the sale. So I don't think it's available yet, but if they do become available during the sale, then yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. I don't think I have anything from Armani. So we need to rectify that maybe with some bronzers and maybe a liquid blush. We'll see. And maybe some lip glosses from Armani. These are coming soon. Don't have much information about it, but it looks like there's two, four, six, seven shades in the new Armani Prisma lip gloss. And I kind of like some of these shades here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind picking up a couple of these lip glosses from Armani. So I may be uh, doing an Armani video soon if I get them. <laughs> Let's talk about Hourglass, and Hourglass is coming out with their new Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. I do have the loose powder, really do like it, and the Hourglass powders, they're very nice on the skin. So let's see what we got here. Weightless Shine Controlling Powder, I like that. It allows you to set, perfect, and touch up on the go. It's a non-drying formula. It absorbs the excess oil and minimizes and blurs the appearance of pores. All the things I like to hear without settling into fine lines. Okay, we'll see about that one. But there are five shades in here. You have translucent, light, which is a sheer cool beige, medium, a neutral beige, translucent tan, sheer golden, and deep, which is a sheer warm brown. So I may pick up the tan, the sheer golden. Yeah, that one looks very nice. I like that. Okay. Dior is coming out with some new products. And from what I could tell, it looks like there's going to be two eyeshadow quints, three new blushes, I believe some lip addicts, and then a Forever Glow Maximizer. Now the eyeshadow palettes do look pretty, but I think I have so many shades that are similar to this one, especially the warmer one with the orange in the center. Now the one with the seafoam green in the center, that one's not my, my vibe, so I'm going to pass on that one. And I'm going to pass on the Glow Maximizer 2. That's going to be a new shade called Nude. Even if I did, it's going to be probably too light for me. And then the three blushes, I'm going to pass on those blushes. I did pick up some of these blushes from Dior several months ago when they came out, and it just didn't work with me. It didn't blend in nice. The shades were not very flattering. So I think I'm going to pass on these three blushes as well. Now the Lip Addicts, is it the Lip Addicts or Lipsticks? These are Lipsticks. I kind of like these three shades. 616 Nude Mitza, 546 Dolce Vita. That one's pretty, very pretty for spring. And 391 Dior Lilac. I like that one too. So I may pick up the lipsticks from Dior, but I think that's going to be it from this collection. Sigma Beauty is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette it's called Cool Neutrals, and it could be similar to the Byredo. It's going to be cheaper than the Byredo, the Mineral Scapes Cool palette, but this one's going to be a maybe. This one will be a maybe. I kind of like the dark shades in there. I was gifted a Sigma palette, the Beauty and the Beast one, by one of you guys, and I was really impressed with it. So I'm kind of looking more into the Sigma palettes. This won't be a maybe. I always try to look for a sale. So maybe I'll wait for a sale. Now these have already been out and there are a lot of videos out here, but I don't know if I'll be picking up any of these blushes from Rare Beauty. It's a soft pinch luminous powder blush. There are three of them that's going to be too light for me. And I think what's kind of throwing me off is that they look very luminizing. I don't want it to show my pores or show my texture. That's what I'm a little afraid of. But if I was going to get anything, it would 
probably be the darker two. They do look very pretty. It's very pleasing to the eye of how it's packaged. And the videos that I've seen, it just looks beautiful on their cheeks. But I'm just a little worried about it on my cheeks. So there are six shades in here. And I probably should get it during the Sephora sale. If anything, I would pick up Love and or Truth. So yeah, that one's going to be a maybe. Another thing from Rare Beauty are their liquid blushes. She's coming out with little mini size, travel size, which is kind of nice because you can't go through a whole tube. At least I can't. And there is one shade that I really do like and I can't remember which, which one it is. I want to say it's Encourage. That one, really love that shade. So maybe I might pick one up just, you know, for travel maybe because it's going to be really small, great, great for travel. So I may pick up one of those. And also in the travel size, it's the Mini Positive Liquid, Light Liquid Luminizer Highlight. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'm not a big fan of liquid highlighters. I think that's just too much for me. So I'll be passing on those. And I think that's great that they're coming out with a mini size, especially for the highlighters. Play to Pose coming out with single eyeshadows. And I don't know if I'll be picking up any of these. They did come out with their quads, their new quads. Wasn't my favorite because one of them was like a cream formula to use as a base. And I have a feeling that's what these are. So these would be like cream eyeshadows. Let me read about it. It's enriched texture ensures the color goes on smooth while the three dimensional finish absorbs and reflects light. And it's the newest skincare makeup hybrid eyeshadow that brings you luminous pigmented colors to last all day. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on these. I think I'm going to pass on these. There's that one shade, that chocolate brown that's catching my eye, but... I think I'm just going to pass on these. And I think that is it. I think that is it. Well, all right, you guys, let me move back here in the, in the middle here. Maybe you could see Zazzle's there. Oh, she's all curled up into a little ball. Well, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of seeing all the new products that are coming out and letting you know what I'd like to get, what I'm not going to get, and what I'm still thinking on, maybe waiting for a good sale. And I hope I can get this video up on the first day of the Sephora sale, but if not, it will probably be Saturday the next day. Things are going on here in town because the eclipse is coming out on Monday. We're in the direct path of it, so we're very excited about it, but it's going to be cloudy and rainy. That's what the weather app says, probably going to be 70% chance of rain. I'm thinking if it's still raining, it's still going to be kind of dark, but we won't be able to see it. And when you know it, today, yesterday, and the day before, not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful weather, and tomorrow too. Sunday is going to be a little cloudy, and Monday is when there's going to be the storms. Mm. So it's going to be really busy, and there's going to be some fun activities to do. But I think it's going to be exciting to see the eclipse. At least we hope to see it here. Well, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.